Good evening and welcome. The focus of this special report will be a look back at the Chipley High School class of 1982. Over the past 10 years, there have been a number of changes at Chipley High School, while other things have been seemingly indifferent to the passage of a decade. Some noticeable changes have taken place inside the school. Physical improvements include carpeted hallways, a computer lab available to all the students, and a video production facility in the library. One area that hasn't changed much would be the lunchroom. Notice in this video some of the same lunchroom staff and some of the same menu items that we had to put up with back in 1982. In reflection, high school was for the most part a carefree time, a time when passing Dr. Cleveland's calculus test or who we were going to sit by the pep rally were our biggest concerns. Today, our daily routines are filled with balancing checkbooks, getting kids ready for school, and often both parents holding down jobs. Speaking of careers, many of our classmates have wound up with some challenging and interesting vocations. For instance, Jack Taylor, or should I say Dr. Jack Taylor, is now practicing dentistry back in Shipley and is reportedly using some unusual methods. Okay, we use the 100-day sterilization technique here. You got that, care? <laughs> yeah. We sterilize every 100 days. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Do you use the same rubber gloves over and over again? Yeah, we just wash everything off once or twice. Even though some of his methods may be a bit unorthodox, most of Jack's patients seem quite happy. Usually we just use vodka and a hammer. This guy's under 18, so we have to know him up. No one is quite sure what Ken Gaynor is doing in the United States Army, but at last report, he was flying a CH-47 Chinook helicopter somewhere over Germany on a top secret mission for the Pentagon. You don't have to travel too far to find B.J. Minor Alderman. She's teaching first, second, and third grade at Kate Smith Elementary School. Also at Kate Smith, D. Ursery Brock is a second grade teacher, and Renee Bush Newsom is also in the school, passing on to kindergarten students the many things that she learned at Chipley High. Andy Compton is the only class member that is currently an instructor at Chipley High. Not only is Andy a coach, but also a math teacher. Figure that one out for yourself. Well, the Mariana Distribution Center of Russell Athletics is also lucky to have a Chipley graduate as a key employee. Alan Cutts is the assistant plant manager of the center that employs over 400 people. As for myself, I've been through several jobs since graduation, including a stint at MTV, an animal trainer for the Wiregrass Zoo, and an industrial engineer at a local research and development firm. Finally, I've settled into a job at WTVY as a professional weather guesser. As we look back on our high school years, we realize now how important a role some of our teachers had in our lives. Not only did they have an impact on us, but we too had an impact on them. We heard about your class long before you actually came to the high school, and you certainly did not disappoint us. You made your mark inside the classroom as well as on the gym wall. As faculty, we watched you from a distance, making sure that you climbed out of the, the trash cans at lunch and before school. We also had to make periodic checks at the football field after school was over to make sure that John was untied from the goalpost. As juniors, you became more adventurous. You got your licenses and started to date. That would have been cause for concern, especially since Deborah Croft has been having children in factors of two. But the faculty was relieved that the nuns of the class held their own against those raging male hormones. You became a little adventurous in class, too. I remember the time that you all, on the signal of somebody tying their shoe, I think it was, dropped your books at class. It didn't phase me, and we continued class all. Even then, you weren't clever enough to get me off the subject. Remember when I said, when I say logarithm, you say, Andy, be sure and check them to make sure they know the answer. We participated in the Olympiad for the first time, and you did fabulously. I still remember how excited Bill Matthews was in winning the Algebra II competition. Aren't you glad that all of you actually finished those problems on the bus so that you didn't miss doing that day's work in class? I'm sure you were very grateful to me later on. I still have those Olympiad pictures from that day and the birthday card you gave me at the end of the year. It still helps to kiss up, doesn't it? Two classes during your senior year was almost too much for both of us. 
I have finally got over that nervous tick of putting the hair behind my ear. And now that you're gone, I can even wear my hair short again. I really should have gotten paid for three classes since you did your homework during physics every day. Instead of wasting your senior year taking things that, that would have been very easy, you took the hard road and got that valuable knowledge that you needed. Alan got a lot more than he needed. In fact, he remembered very well that pi was 180 degrees, and that fact almost got him kicked out of his class at Florida. The boys in the class won my heart that year by remembering to give me roses on Valentine's Day. And when you graduated, I knew there would never be another class like you, so I decided to graduate too and follow some of you to Japola. We have talked about many classes that seemed so promising when they became in the ninth grade, but somehow the students just kind of whimpered out and didn't really make a, their mark in society. But this is not true with this class. You have all used your knowledge and have really taken a place of professional esteem in the community. When I think of you, I think of the rhyme that says, rich man to all those engineers who graduated from Florida, poor man to those of you who became teachers and nurses and who will spend the time giving away your hearts and your livelihood, beggar man to John who has helped all of his friends get married and we know what he's begging for now. Thief, to Jack, who I paid $300 for to count, crown my tooth, and to all the others of you who are planning to charge me for your professional services. Doctor, to Ben and Jack, and all others of you who will hopefully return to school to use the gifts that you have. Lawyer, thank goodness that, some of, that you chose not to go into the pockets of others. And Indian chiefs, to Thomas and Alice and Aaron and Anita, Andy, Amy, Jim, Joe, Bill, Mark, Grant, BJ, Carol, and Ralph, who followed me to Japola to make my transition from high school a little easier. Here's looking at you kids. It's been a pleasure watching you assume your place in society as these 10 years have gone by. For some reason, some things never change. That is, good friends and chalk lines. The class of 1982, that was a very fun class. Several people went on to make great success for themselves. Uh, Jack Taylor, who's now the dentist. Uh, Alan Cutts, who's working hard and very successful. John Gibson, I shall never forget, and he shall never forget me, I know. Uh, and then uh, Tom, Thomas Neville, I never forget Thomas Neville. He's working with Channel 4 News. He was a joy to work with, and I have enjoyed every minute of it. What are, uh, out of the different classes that, that you've taught over the years, what were some of the things that the class of 82 might have done that, that stands out from some of your other classes, your other years? Well, they were very successful. Uh, they worked hard. It was uh, energetic young people. Uh, I'm proud of them. Uh, they were a talkative group. They loved to the talk. And quite often, uh, you have to stay on some of them mind and stay on the other end of them, too, to make sure that they behave. Well, it's hard to come up with something specifically for that class all of a sudden here, but uh, you look back on the results of the ones I can think of uh, right offhand that have come back home and gone to work, gone to other places that I know about. Uh, they restore your faith in the youth of today. All you got to do uh, is just think back and see what these people are doing on down the future. When they're here in high school, you sort of have some doubts about some of them sometimes, but uh, they'll prove you wrong and come on and do all right. Let's see, you're looking at... Uh, the same old shrubbery right back here where those bees used to come in the windows whenever they were open and uh, have to run them out every once in a while. But uh, after 33 years, why, you realize there's a, uh, these students just come on through and keep the world going for us. And, uh, hello to everyone in the class of 1982. I uh, hope you have a good time here. Even though it's been 10 years, sometimes when you close your eyes and let your mind drift back, it seems like only yesterday that we were playing ball in the gym or watching the Chipley Tigers win a football game. 